my god, it's been a while. What's up, everyone? Whether you're tuning in now or later. Uh, fuck, I don't want to do it anymore. I used to be fucking good at this shit. Well, semi good anyway. I don't know what my sound settings are like, so I might be too loud, the game might be too low. I don't know. Um, but if you're catching this on YouTube, then, yeah. I'm going to continue where we left off now. Uh, Franklin only has to go see Lester and Tanya, so let's go and do fucking Tanya's mission real quick. So, um, as per the title, we're um, going to be switching to 76 for an hour or so after this. Because I'm on Twitch, I'm not going to leave the music on the background, just in case. Just like, I haven't actually streamed a single player game since I played GA4 once on this. And I haven't really streamed except for Wreckfest in the last 12 months. So, it's not exactly um, what I planned for my Twitch, but. everything through my mind because I don't have a well I have a good headset but I don't have a good mic. So a clear mic and that's about it. Let's make this up. There's the person dropped over here. There we go. Also, the last time I streamed GTA 5 was like a couple of years back. Where is where's the person I'm supposed to return it to? Is this person down here? Okay, well, I guess I gotta keep it then. I'm not complain. Okay, and the mission's disappeared. The hell game. Am I... Am I going crazy? Or did the missions just disappear? What the hell is... Grand Theft Auto V, what are you doing? Okay, I guess I ran out of time or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One second. Just need to alt tape my game for a sec. What? You think it'll burn down? Let's get this straight. This dump is one big ashtray. Star, will you put the frickin' like hold A to run cool. option in the game, please, in story mode? There's one hell of an addition in, in online, except for the fact that every time you're running around in your apartment, for some reason my, my character is running at full speed and I can never do anything. I'm not even pressing A to run in the apartment because in most places you can't, you can run faster now. For some reason I just like sprint everywhere. Why, is the mi why are the missions back again? Oh, 
this game, bro. The Santa. That's not the name in your file, Michael. Steve Haynes here. Yeah, Agent Douchebag. Hey, that poor some bitch we grabbed for you still breathing? See for yourself right now. Trevor Phillips is on his way to help with the debrief. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Great. Sounds just like my kind of party. Taking a dump? Ah, why do you care, huh? The fuck is wrong with you? Uh, I got abandonment issues. I see a shrink once a week. You know, fuck you. Yeah, well, you know, nothing like meeting a bunch of creeps from the government in a quiet building for someone to grow balls. Did you see his face that last time I popped it. <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you, you, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I fucking remember that line. <laughs> you, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the slick bastard the way from me. No, oh, no, no, Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. Uh -huh. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know. I already told nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything. Please. Please. Sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis. Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, high price audiovisual. It's top man, good price. VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So no. I need to know. What did you tell them, and what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? I told them what I tell you. Uh huh. What? I. Hey. This whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because no, I'm tired no. of these fucking no, nitwits no, at the agency go. taking all the glory. Let me go. All right, fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. Who's you know? Good time? Go for a drive. Wait, wait. No. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. No. The guy's your neighbor. Caesar's Place, Rockford Hills. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, put this out straight. I hate this mission. Like, there is, there's, there, there is a level too far in, in yeah, the more human I see society. Your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. 
Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush, one of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or, or, we stumbled on the cash depot job, Brad went down, you went down, Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, Trevor made you right away. The second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Town. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. I'm sorry, I have to pause here just to continue what I was saying before they started talking. Because I didn't want to interrupt the content part, but... <sighs> if it wasn't in the game, I wouldn't do this mission. I'd skip it. But I can't, I can't see any feasible way of doing it. Unfortunately, if you're watching on Twitch, it's a fucking red gun. Right this is bullshit. This place, Davy, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? We're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. Hey, you want a coffee? Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Wait, what are you talking about, the wrong guy? No, who do you want? Just tell me what you want, huh, man? Ah, uh, please, look at me, please. I can't legally tell you to do this, but do it. <laughs> I got brittle bones. Be gentle. I hope you're not a scare. <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tay here, Javan. Why didn't you ask me? I know that no. uh, I did this whole, whole theater. There's someone who's he fallen on my knees before much. and I'm seven right. foot. That you hurts. Left the highway. Oh. Well, that wasn't so, so this tough, was it? A lot. Huh? <laughs> did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> What a dick. <laughs> I really don't like this mission. <laughs> I never saw very enjoy this game again. So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of him. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest, and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job. No casualties. There were more eyes on that town than there needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad. 
who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Townley. The trainees write him. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. Yeah, so now what? I just sit back and hope he doesn't figure it out? It's worked so far. He's a time bomb, Dave. And you fucking know it. I'm also not a big fan of Trevor as a, as a maniac that he is. He's a great yes, character. Alright. Find out who we're looking for. Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. Oh, no, no, please. I tell what? you what you Loosen want him up. No, please. Dentistry is an industry hasn't advanced in the last hundred years. Mm. Still a bunch of sadomasochists. Let me fight it. Please, no. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, you ain't gonna be chewing steak anytime soon. I don't know why I ain't get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got given up. The secret That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after. What does he look like? I was built. I was height, middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark. Okay, he's Azerbaijani for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? You're my eyes, Townley. What do you see? I see a couple guys that are way too old and too fat to be doing a political assassination. We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Perhaps this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. That ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit. I, let me think. I remember. Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's won today. I remember. Oh, okay. I remember. I remember. Sparky, Sparky. You're going to kill me. Or you will kill me. My heart. For us. Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying Beard. What do you got? Anything specific or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Jumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. Oh, he's, he's, he's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Huh? I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. What if you get it wrong? Say this! 
Sometimes I can't believe they put this in a video game, but you know. I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry! Let's get him upright. I'm alive. I'm alive. Today's lesson is about government regulation. Lesson? This is meaningless. <laughs> Mr. K. <laughs> Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. <laughs> okay. He chain smokes. And he's left handed. What's that? He chain smokes. And he's left handed. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes? Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. He isn't smoking. So it's gonna be this guy. Hope it's this guy. I'm not sure. I'm not Michael, sure what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, what? I had up. my eyes on a target. Listen. Anyone in that joint's got as much chance of being a threat to national security as the next guy. Steve, it's blown. <sighs> so you want me to kill a left-hand fucking... I... I thought he wanted me to shoot someone. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Exactly, am I supposed to do? How long am I supposed to watch them for? I can't remember all this shit because I haven't played the fucking game in ages. So. I haven't played the story mode, I mean. This guy's not smoking. What am I supposed to do? mission in GTA 5. There's literally a guy smoking left-handed right in front of me, I'm pretty sure. And the game's not doing anything. Give me a second, people. I can't believe I have to fucking do this. I actually had to look at a guide to find out who I'm looking for. It's awesome. Ah, 
I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. About well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Baby, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be, Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> Let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Then what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. No. Oh, fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey! How's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country, and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. neighbors and stuff. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer. Or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you... Never mind. <sighs> okay. Torture for the torturee. But only if they're prepared to pay. Slick. Departures. Slick. No one drives me to the airport. Oh, I'm on the wrong. Free. Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? Now look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.
Okay, well. machine is being monitored. Be careful what you say. They're listening. Trevor doesn't leave a message. I thought they'd actually, you know, have a set of message. Mostly, it's just driving around. Might as well go on planning his heist because get that out of the way. And according to the mission list I was looking at, this is the next one you do. So. And Trevor is a, the Trevor. Trevor is a. Trevor is a what? Trevor uh, is a good guy. He's quite family. I got kid, ain't he, boy? That, 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 that's it, right? Yes, Trevor. <laughs> But, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so. Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's going to leave me. I mean, this is her place. And the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa. Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death. Bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Oh, no. Show me, no, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. No. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just... Put your Johnson away, sir. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. Now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there. Put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run. We got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm going to send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, team. I really miss it. You know where the port is? Come on then, Floyd, what you got for me? Like I said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, it always was a stick in the mud. Look, sir, please, just... Tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turn. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? 200 
and $36 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put brass tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well, there's been all these uh, Meriwether folks hanging around. Meriwether Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order. My butt's gone The false waging up. Outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil. That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter? Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. Uh, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Meriwether guys out by the Navy warehouse. They got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well. These bridges. Are they the only way out the port? Yep. Once you're off them, you're straight on the highway. A truck can come here, load up, and get on the blacktop, keep on going till he runs out of gas. Real poetic. What happens if an alarm's trip? The National Office of Security Enforcement monitors the whole area. If something goes off in Port City, every road round here gets shut down. Go park and get to dispatch. Uh, yep, will do. <laughs> Here comes the soup. I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. Well, he's particularly We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> Get in there. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. They shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that's stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they have the water surface real covered. Okay. So that is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore door. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my curiosity. Meriwether guys at 2 o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now. Up here, okay? I guess they're gonna kick me out if I don't play along. How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. We don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. Please, just don't. Those are the containers in Bay B. They're gonna check us. 
I remember this mission. I hated this mission too. That's why I wanted to get Trevor's stuff out of the way. Clamp it on now! That's it! Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F! I know why they call them handlers, because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. Nah, nah, nah. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot. Hook it up! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. There was old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more! You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. If my work here is done, I'm going up the gantry. time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. That's it. You're in position. You got it. Now pick it up so it'll clear the other containers and move it down to the end. Take us to the other end. Bay number five. Further, come on! the truck set it down gentle you want to line it up with the frame of the truck
and you said you wasn't qualified. Go back up to the other end and start again. Get back down to the other end. Line up the second red container at the end. Union thinks you'll get eye strain if you work any longer. Have a break. Wow. I mean, this is some view, ain't it? I'm gonna take a couple shots for my boy. Trail or you just you're stuck there. Okay. scroll myself okay Get on the ladder. Oh, Stop. Is this game actually easier on the keyboard and mouse? Like, can you control? Oh my god. Stop getting on the ladder. It's pretty showing its age. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! This rig ain't being used. It's over on the other dock. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead-end? No. Floyd, it's dead-end. Being a unionized longshoreman's one of the best-paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. 
No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for 10 years, only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. No, spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work. I think I can cut my silly out when I'm uh, making this into a video because it's completely silent on my end. I apologize. I'm no one really watching this. So I have to talk to and uh, discuss the game with, you know. That'll change later on when I jump into uh, I Factor. As for Fallout 76, uh, I'm going to do a. Uh, some soap I'm soaking already done. I'm going to do a part of permadeath playthrough. So. I'm just going to mirror my melee character because it's like the best one I've got at the moment. See what happens. See how far I get before I actually die. Like, it's like. There's a few challenges in there. And like, playing without mutations is not impossible, but it's, after you've played two or three years with, it, with mutations, it's uh, difficult to say the least to start a new character. I've done it a couple of times, and those new characters are still sitting there dormant at about level 28 or something, level 30. Right, close enough to what that. the hell is wrong with you? Because I just. I don't have mutations on them or anything, so I can. Really don't know if I transform them. I transform them into something. At some point, I want to find a mod for, G uh, for Fallout 4. After I finish the survival playthrough, which I'm supposed to do some last summer, not too late. Might look into it and make it an episode of that to see how tired I am after I've like 
fingers crossed, I'll find a stolen tool. Things holy. I, I, I tried <sighs> to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. Oh, it's, there, there, Wade. Look, 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 it's a, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> did, did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. Huh? That woman ain't even trying. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. That's well, uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We gotta build him back up. Now! <clears throat> and, there, perfect. All right, so. Based on my observations, I'd say these Merryweather security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, Bring it back here and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? Go with the offshore one for this because it's the easiest one. Offshore. Deep sea adventure. Gotta be. You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Yep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right? And you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No baths! Get wet, Lloyd. Take your pants off. Okay. Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with. 
Franklin. Oh, yeah. Oh, and how's your flying? You might need to take a few classes at flight school. Why would I need to do that? Trust me, you'll regret it if you don't. Gonna be just like old times, pal. Huh. Okay, well. He's gonna switch to Marco anyway, so... And also schedule a 10 minute break, because the train's been going for just over an hour. So, I appear to be dropping frames every now and again. I don't know if there's a game or the stream, so. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, yeah, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this with one. anger issues and worse friends. No you wonder I'm so upset. You too, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh. Come, come, Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin and put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tatasana. Yes. Or mountain pole. One, two, three. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. One, two, three. It is perfect. Now, Michael. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Exhale. Strength, Michael. In and out with the breath, Michael. It moves. Amazing. Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Who would have thought it possible? This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for I hours. I forgot that I was muted. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you feel that? The emotion inside. Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. You can breathe, can't you? Got a hot Out through the mouth. There. There it is. The silly man forgets to breathe. You feel that?
now. He breathes. Very good. Now let it go. He's got great core strength for someone who's totally rotten there. Breathe, Mikkel. There! Let it go! Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, children. Do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm -mm. Everything is flowing in me. Oh. Mike, would you? I hope there is time for yoga to save you. Your lungs, they work, yes? Shut up. Let it out. No vanity. Come on. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Okay. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out, baby. If you'd found yoga before, you wouldn't have been that way with Coach. Take in the air and release it. Tell me you don't feel centered. Your lungs, they work, yes? Shut up, you Frenchy bitch. Breathe out, please. Hold the anus. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Lengthen. Strengthen. Breathe, please, Michael. Out with the breath. Can you thank us now for saving you from the couch? <laughs> you have come a long way today, Michael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Uh, oh, mm. oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Go away! Oh yeah, fuck you! You know what, if there was a rape button, I'd be using your... Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on, I wanna go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I wanna get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on! This is fucking bullshit! Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. So where's your friend? Burger shot? Yeah, night time. See, the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. 
bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly, but why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist, just like the rest of the city. You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <laughs> Yo, oh, man, what's man? up? What's How up, you man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Mm. <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck, Jimmy? Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure Alrighty this links then. to like the latest now Dragon Ball Steel Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Mm. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. Okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. You're fine. No. Really, this is that Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is that paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Oh, this steering wheel is the size of a Ferris wheel. I gotta pull over. Oh, what was in there? It's harmless. Bets have been using it for decades. You anesthetize me? You fucking I'm protecting shit. you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving what? out. Alright? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on. Jimmy!
you're out there doing God only knows what. Jimmy, you little shit. I'm home! Anyone here? Kids? Tracy? Trace? Honey? Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! sort of did, I guess. I don't know. I wonder where Franklin is at the moment. Alright, well, let's go and uh, see if we can actually do time in this mission now. At some point, I'm going to cut this video off and, uh, you know, episode 2 will just continue, you know, rest on while I'm still streaming, because I am still streaming, obviously. Uh, of course I'm on top of the map again. I drove all the way down to Tanya and the uh, fucking icon disappeared. And now he's back at home again. Rambling little shit. His arm is so annoying. Oh, 
Okay, that was a plan. The formation in this game is just silly. Like, CD Online made it okay, but. Also, I forgot to. Well, I did this before I started streaming, but. Curly. Yes, by the way, I'm playing with God Mode, which was fuck it. I wasn't going on about it while I'm streaming. You ain't well, homie. Let's get you up out of here. Yep. Or not. Maybe. I thought it was the van because, you know, I pulled both of them out of the car. But... What a day. Incredible, dude. You should keep some of that for yourself. Wow, two hundred dollars. You cheap bastard. your raggedy bitch ass up fuck you lamar i mean franklin or whatever everybody on the block knows you gonna vine wood and shit well shit if going vine wood means i ain't hitting the pipe like 1992 then shit i'm guilty as charged okay ass what bitch ass excuse me <laughs> look i'm sorry but well, where's your love for the hood jb ain't doing good he needs help we need your help nigga we gonna lose everything all right shit what do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. That's our truck. You know the drill. Yeah, the cyber weight so I can have like a 10 straight. So if you Come on, get in the fucking truck already. Did 
Dispatch, what you got? 10-4. We got an SUV in a handicapped spot without a sticker at the Lucky Plucker and Little Soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you're doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause, dear, ain't you, Tiny? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never seen my nails. <laughs> what, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in Davis. Let's move it out. This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you'd been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. Mm -hmm. It's an honest dollar. And there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet. Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. Drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. What you doing to that car back there? Literally nothing. I'll make it up to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you around.